Let's dive right into pipe bending 101, okay? These are the first few things that you're gonna need, the, your first essentials. We're just gonna bend 90 degrees, just to bend a simple 90, and then make an offset. So there are a few things that you need to know. Okay, here we go. To the board, and I hope you can see this. Half inch conduit, you deduct five inches. I'll explain. Three quarter, you would deduct six inches. One inch, you would deduct eight inches. Now, conduit, you bend it at a 90. You deduct that amount from your overall measurement. So if you wanted a 10 inch 90, you would start your bend with your bender at five inches back. And we'll go in, I'll show you the actual pipe bending of it, but I'm just explaining it to you. Five inches back is where you'd start your bend, you pull it up, and your overall will be five, will be, I'm sorry, will be 10 inches. We talked about 10 inches. So these are what you deduct. Three quarter, you deduct six inches. So it, it's the same difference, and it's because of inside this radius, which don't need to know. This is for the people who just want to know how to bend a pipe real quick. Get it done, okay? That's it. These are your deductions for half inch, three quarter, and one inch conduit to make a 90. If you want one 10 inches, 20 inches, 15 inches, you just deduct this first and then you pull it back to you, okay? So over here we have the offsets. You have multipliers with offsets. They easy to deduct for a 90, but you have multipliers for the offsets, okay? So, a 10 degree radius, you'd multiply times six. 22 degree radius, 2.6. 30 degree is two inches. A 45 is 1.4. I'm sorry, not two inches. 30 degree is multiply times two. 45 multiply one times 1.4. And a 60 degree is 1.2. The degrees are these, are between the two points of the bend. So if you, if you had a 45 straight and it go up, 45 and like so, it's tighter to pull. So by code, in any run, you can only have 360 degrees of bends. So if you did a bunch of 45s and then some 90s, you'd be over your limit. Plus it would be a pain in the ass to pull through. You don't want to bend it and have your buddy pull through it because it's not going to be your buddy after that. So... So what I use are the, the, the easiest ones to calculate, and 45s if I only get in a jam. I don't want some a big giant radius. My, my pipe bend would be huge. I want to get around a two inch something or other, and I want to be kind of close to it so it doesn't look all sloppy and far apart. I stick with, I just do a 30 degree bend on most all of my stuff, times two. Okay, I need a 12 inch uh, offset, my my marks will be 24 inches. My first mark, my second mark will be 24 inches between. And that's my multiplier. And then I'll show you on the pipe how it works and how we get to a certain point. But these are your multipliers. These are what you multiply at times. So if you wanted a 10 degree, whatever it is, multiply it times six. You want a, a 12 inch bend, multiply it times six. Those will be your marks. That will be in between your marks in order to get your spots on your offsets. So, like I say, the other ones, 45s are, if you're kind of in a jam or something rather, it's fine, that's fine, you just multiply it one times four, or 1.4, that's it. It's just, it's just a tighter radius. A uh, 30 has a more of a sweeping radius, so it's easier to pull. So, okay, so this is what you need to know is for multiplying and deduct for the 90s, multiply for the offsets, and those are your marks in between, and I'll show you on the pipe, or I'm sorry, on the pipe bender right now, how that's relevant, okay? We're gonna get down to action, stand by. All right, let's start with the pipe bender itself. Okay, I'm gonna bring it to you. All those things I said, those degrees, are right there. Those are your radiuses, so they have to go parallel your pipe when it bends down you know where to stop if you want a 30 you stop it there if you want a 45 60 you bend it down until the bottom you're just eyeballing it so it's parallel with that and uh that's at the back of the bend now where you they have an, a little arrow right here okay that's going to be your first mark let's say for offsets or anything else like that 
they leave a little bit here it's so you can get uh, your connector in if that bend was right at the end you'd never get a connector in because it's bent so that's where you start your bend for your offsets okay so we're going to start with offsets we're going to do a we'll go with 30 degrees we'll go with uh all right we want a 12 inch offset now let's go six inch i think that's better six inch offset so my marks will be 12 inches between them so okay stand by okay i have my pipe i have my marker usually use a pencil because who wants to see a black marker in a pipe but for you beautiful people out there i'm going to give you a marker so you can see it all right so my first mark let's say i'm coming out i want to come up uh, i don't know three inches before i offset into the wall let's just say for argument's sake first marks at three inches we wanted a six inch bend a six inch offset so six times two is 12. Simple as that. Okay, that's how we started off. Um, all right, now I'm gonna show you on the bender how we got that uh, six inch uh, offset, all right? Hang on. Okay, here's how we started out. Here's my first mark. Remember that little arrow? Get it right in there. See, you could, with an offset, you could put it at any one of these marks. So long as your distance is the same, the bender doesn't know the difference between where you're bending. But rule of thumb, this is the beginning of your, your, uh, your bend, always. These other things mean something else, but we're not going to get into that. So on the other side, remember we talked about these uh, degrees? We're going to go 30 degrees. Now I'm going to hope you can see this. I'm going to try and do it on my foot. And we bend it down. And looking at the bottom of that, just about parallel with that 30 degree mark okay so now we're going to take the pipe and we're going to bend take it 90 degrees bring it out 90 degrees and match up that mark again like we talked about okay and we're going to look down the pipe you don't want it to be dogged you want it to be parallel with your uh, bender i mean if it's like that it's going to be dogged so i'll show you a neat little tool for this but for all shits and giggles, that looks about right. And we do that same thing again. We're gonna take it down to that 30 degree mark again on the other side. All right, boom, here we are. About parallel with that 30 degree mark. Now, so by all intents and purposes, this here should be six inch offset. Let me see how good I am. Oh, six inches on the dot. I don't know how to show you guys here, but the overall is six inches on the money. It's, it's a six inch offset. I wish I could show you guys better, but I'm a half-ass type guy. So that's your offset. That's how to do it. It's as simple as that. There's this thing, this little tool called, in the trade, it's called a no dog. You put it on your first bend it's got a bubble on it so uh you put on your first bend and then you start your bend and when you turn it over you make sure the bubble's right on and then you do your second bend that's what these are for these are great little tools all right that's hey that's it for uh offsets let me show you the directions for the 90s and uh that's even easier okay stand by all right here we go for the 90 degree bend we want, let's say we want a, again, we want a 10 inch 90. We want it to come up 10 inches, box 10 inches high, I don't know. So what I would do, I start my bend, I start my measurement at the five inches because I know I got to deduct that anyways. So at five inches right there, I've, I've got my five inches, there's my 10, there's my mark. Start right here, make my mark, little arrow on the bender that I showed you. That's, uh, that's where it starts. That's where I put my, my bender in, and I pull it up, and I'll be right on the money. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm doing this upside down. Most people, because I've been doing it for so long, I could do it upside down, but uh, it goes right on that mark again. This one is, uh, this is where we need that mark for the 90. You can't just go with any other mark to be convenient, for, like the offsets. This is where we start the mark. So we start it here, and then uh, 
bend that 90. I'll do it on the ground so it comes up right. Bear with me. Stand by. Standing by. Straight edge. Let's see. Where are we? Right on the money. 10 inches. 10 inch 90. So nothing to it, right? Moving around my uh, camera. See, I never have any help. So that's why I'm all breathing all hard and shit like that. That's nothing to do with being fat. Just, just breathe hard. So. <laughs>